Tickets, boys, don't get left behind. That train bound for Gloraland, it's all you need. Fast roll and high bone That old St. Peter call and hell bent for Cloverland Bones and whistle blow Hurry, get your tickets, boys, and you'll be good to go well, Here I am on our first camp, on our first day of the Yukon Quest Dogs are just settling in. We've done about 50 to 60 miles, somewhere in that range. We ran for about five and a half hours. Had a good clip. And we are out here in the beautiful Ibex Valley, in white, uh, out of Whitehorse. Mountains around us, snowing. Beautiful day. We've got another 50 or so mile run, five hour-ish run this evening, later into Brayburn, where we'll stay for our mandatory vet check. And then we'll head on down the trail. Get down. There's first light on the uh, you know, day two of the race. Third run. Uh, just came out of Car or Brayburn a little bit ago, head towards Carmax. And uh, it's first light. Beautiful run so far. Hard, fast trails. The dogs are looking good. We had to drop Ad again back in Brayburn because she's kind of had a reoccurring injury from the copper basin still on her tricep and her wrist. So she wasn't having a good time. So we left her behind in the truck. And we are on our way, cruising along. Another beautiful day in the Yukon.
Well, we're headed out the uh, Pelly Farm Road, uh, just leaving Pelly Crossing. We've got 11 dogs, um, and they've got a bunch of injuries, so it's going to be an interesting run to Dawson. Um, got a lot of triceps and shoulder, all muscle stuff that I'm going to have to massage the hell out of to keep them going, but uh, I think we can do it um, as long as we can get to uh, Scroggy. If anyone's really hurting, we'll be good to go. And then uh, another 100 miles to Dawson and uh, they get a long rest or we can work, work on them night and day. So here we go. It's going to be an interesting ride. Good dogs. Here we are uh, headed towards Scroggy Dog Drop. We camped here between Pelly, uh, Pelly and Scroggy last night. And uh, had to do a lot of work on the dogs, a lot of muscle soreness, but I was able to work them all through it. And they're all cruising along. Nobody's limping right now, looking good. Good dogs. Coming up through this really beautiful burn. And we've had ice fog all morning and then the fog is just starting to lift um, as the sun rises. Beautiful day. Good things are on the way. The dogs. Let's go to Scraggy Kink. Well, here we are, we're on the ridge line. Switchbacks, I guess they call it. Kind of a fog, windstorm, drifting thing going on. It's kind of fun. Dogs are looking great. And uh, we'll be going over King Solomon's Dome soon and into Dawson for 36. Ten dogs. Strong. dogs. We're headed up King Solomon's Dome. This is the last leg on the way into Dawson. Um, I got about probably 35 miles left to go before uh, the halfway point. And here's my team of 10 dogs. Um, team that I didn't, wasn't sure was going to make it here with all their limps and gimps, but uh, they look pretty well oiled there. Nobody's limping as we move along. They're, they're coming around. Um, it's just awesome running this team. They're just doing great. So. It's hard to be disappointed when you got a group of dogs that are working so hard for you. Good job, guys. Good job. Let's go to Dawson City. Here we are coming up King Solomon's Dome. Last little pitch. And then we got 25 miles downhill to Dawson City. Just climbed up from that valley over there down at the bottom. When I told you a minute ago we were almost over the top, it took a little bit longer, but now we're over the top, the other side, and Dawson is somewhere, if you follow that little line, that little road, down along to that little clearing, gold mines down there, somewhere over that way, Dawson City Bound, 2013 Quest Team, good dogs! From Kelly to you? Uh, four. Yeah. So was the decision you made in Kelly already or a decision you made on the trip? No, I made that in Kelly. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, welcome to the layover. Thanks. Mm -hmm. to it. Okay. Yeah. Good. 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 Shane. 
Here we are on the mighty Yukon River. Uh, we're just getting ready to, uh, we're about an hour out of Dawson City um, after our big layover. Good dogs. The dogs are just getting back into a groove after that long layover. We're headed out to uh, 40 Mile Cabin, which is about 50 miles from Dawson City. And uh, we'll do a little stay there. And then we'll head on into Eagle, uh, the village of Eagle in Alaska. Where we'll stay a little longer and then uh, we'll head on down the trail uh, towards home. Good dogs. We're going to be hitting some of our first big jumbo ice on this run. So maybe I'll get a little video of that once we get into the nasty, nasty stuff. Here we are in the Yukon uh, in the jumbo ice. We just kind of got off on the side for a second, so I stopped. As you can see, it's like car sized freaking icebergs jumbled up, frozen in the river. And we're zigzagging our way through that for what seems like forever. Bumping and bouncing and banging around. Good dogs. Okay, we are approaching 40 Mile River. It's a beautiful night. It was snowing all day, so we got like a foot of fluffy snow on the ground, which is beautiful and soft and awesome. Hopefully the wind doesn't blow or we'll lose the trail. <laughs> Crossing the Yukon here as we come in. Denis Tremblay, team in front of us. We just made up about a half hour of time on him, which is kind of cool. And it's a beautiful night. We'll stay here for about six hours and head on to Eagle. Dogs. Oh, so well, we're traveling on the Yukon again. We just left the 40 mile river cabin. Uh, and uh, Fort McMurray. And uh, this is a section of trail that's not normally part of the race, but uh, they had to close the American Summit portion of the trail, 40 mile river section, because of uh, some funky overflow glaciers that were dangerous to travel. So we're skipping that section of trail. We lose 50 miles of it, and uh, we go straight into Eagle this way. Um, so that's the next stop. And the dogs are looking really good. We just had about a five and a half hour break, and uh, they were ready to roll. So uh, things are looking up, things are looking good. Good dogs. You can see the trail kind of drifted in a little bit in the last few hours from the new snow. And uh, luckily we had about four teams leave right in front of us. So we get an easy ride while some other teams had to break trail. We'll probably catch up with them. All right, this is the trail out of Eagle. On the river, pretty nasty, these guys. And Nuck Luck and Elmer lead, and they are doing a great job taking us on down the Yukon. Dogs. Before we were out in the jumble ice, and you couldn't tell where the trail is, but you can see the markers. I was able to drive them around like a car, and little Nuck Luck's doing so good up there. Good girl, Nuck Luck. Good boy, Elmer. And Nuck Luck and Elmer are sponsored by Sterling and Pat Marinac. Thank you guys. Good dogs.
It's another beautiful day on the Yukon River. Sure dad. Wind's blowing hard. Blowing the snow around. G, 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 G. Good, all right. Sure dad. Good. Good dogs. Making the trail hard to find. Good dogs. All right. There we go. Well, it's a beautiful morning. We are just leaving Circle, or Central, I mean, and we're headed up over that mountain over there, the Eagle Summit. It'll be a big day. Good dogs. Darren's team behind has fallen. We can help each other if we need. Good dogs. Hup, let's go. And uh, we're starting out kind of slow, but I uh, have no doubt we'll get two teams over the hill today. All right, good dogs. Good. Good. Good dogs. Good top of the first knob.
climbing Rosebud Summit, one of the last summits on the peak of the summit. Out of breath. Good dog.